Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are uh, checking in very briefly with our uh, Origami 4T on its way to Titan. We have a uh, small correction to make so that we can perform our very first Titan flyby, which is uh, just going to be a gravity assist, uh, maybe with a little bit of arrow braking. We'll see how well it goes, but uh, we just want to dial this in a little bit and uh, come in on the correct side of, of Titan, probably, and then uh, we'll just let, yeah, the SAS do its thing and wiggle us around. Uh, that is the incorrect side of Titan, as it turns out, and uh, there's our mech jet, or a uh, Kerbal alarm clock alarm screwing things up for us. So, uh, yeah, I would like to not be polar to not adjust the inclination of our orbit, but, uh, you know, SAS fighting me the whole way, but also uh, RCS imbalance fighting me kind of the whole way. So uh, as soon as we get something kind of reasonable dialed in, we'll just uh, leave it there and plot a node to uh, adjust our uh, altitude at uh, our encounter. We don't want to come swimming through the lower parts, but Titan has a very high atmosphere, something like 600 kilometers or so. Uh, so we uh, we'd like to pass through the very top bits because it's really not very dense way the hell up there, and uh, maybe get some free delta v breaking because of it. But uh, all in all, uh, I guess we'll know more in uh, many 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 days when we uh, actually come to that encounter. And as prep, we're gonna fold in the wings for passing through the atmosphere. Anyway, moving very swiftly along. Uh, we have now one of our, uh, I think this is our Callisto lander, it really should be, which is uh, setting up its uh, fly, very first flyby of uh, Callisto itself. Uh, this is just kind of a uh, luck of the draw uh, orbital encounter, and despite what this uh, map is showing you, we are actually not going to go for orbital insertion this time. We are uh, just going to make a gravity assist flyby to uh, lower our apoapsis around uh, Jupiter so that we can more effectively uh, dial this in and uh, hopefully be able to insert ourselves into orbit around Callisto uh, within a year or two. It's going to take uh, lots and lots and lots of work, but a tangential flyby like this doesn't really do us a whole lot of good. Uh, what we need to do eventually is boost our periapsis so that we continue gravity assists around Io until we can get the uh, apoapsis of our orbit in uh, such a manner that we can start to gravity assist and, uh, you know, boost up our perijove to uh, aid us with our eventual capture, uh, which will lead to our eventual landing. You know, I mean, like, here's, here's hoping anyway. So uh, a little bit of plotting with nodes, just uh, trying to see where we are and as far as how many orbits it's going to take to make some future adjustments uh, along these lines, but uh, I did want to see about maybe getting a, an assist uh, from Callisto on the opposite side of our orbit so that we can kind of balance things out uh, as far as our tangential shift uh, along our orbital path and maybe help uh, boost that periapsis a little bit, get it back to some place where we uh, might encounter Io, but uh, that will have to come many, many days later. We have that alarm set, so no worries. So we're going to uh, switch out back to our uh, SKS Heavy, which uh, until moments ago was docked to Kawaii Protato Station uh, with uh, Nemo delivered and the terms of their contracted stay uh, around this, uh, in low Earth orbit, I should say, uh, fulfilled. Uh, these missions are really a very nice moneymaker for us. We're going to go ahead and give them the okay to deorbit and make an approach to uh, Cape Canaveral. Hopefully this time uh, we can do a, a little better than uh, landing somewhere in Texas slash Mexico. I don't really have the glide slope for this thing dialed in just yet, so I'm kind of firing in the dark. Although now in retrospect, insightful me will realize that Mechjev landing prediction does deal with glide slope a little, I think. So uh, maybe next mission out we'll give that a, a try. Here is our uh, initial deorbit burn, just a couple meters 
per second or so. And then we'll take a look at our periapsis, which I'm going to just uh, line spot on with uh, uh, the KSC and then try to adjust our periapsis down. Uh, we don't quite get there before our periapsis hits the, uh, the limits of where I would like it to be. So I think we're actually going to have to go for a uh, long glide slope on this. Um, Really, the goal right now is to not land in Texas, Mexico, or Louisiana, or the water. Definitely a big no-no on landing in the water. But uh, we'll fold in our solar panels and then uh, eventually get ourselves uh, set up for our actual uh, Earth atmosphere entry by turning on atmospheric autopilot. We will not activate it yet, but we'll get our settings set up and we'll dial ourselves in for about a 45 degree glide slope or so because uh, we need to shield those RS-25s from as much of the airflow as we can manage. And the uh, higher our nose, the less um, atmospheric entry effects those engines tend to uh, be exposed to. So uh, it's kind of this balancing act on trying to preserve range versus uh, trying to keep the engines out of the airflow. We'll also um, bring up our cockpit and our very aft tank so we can do the whole ballast and balance thing. It's a, it's really a neat trick, shifting weight aft to keep the nose in the air and then shifting weight forward to uh, give yourself a little more uh, nose instability for flight controls and such. And then just uh, looking at the how much atmospheric autopilot is offsetting pitch to know if you need to shift weight to fore or aft. But uh, generally speaking, this uh, re-entry has gone very smoothly, although I get the distinct impression we're going to fall short uh, yet again, which is the exact thing I'm trying very desperately to avoid. Uh, it would be really nice to put something down on a runway at some point, somehow, and our ablative uh, docking port thrusters have gone ahead and done their job, fulfilled their duty to the spacecraft by burning off and exploding violently, sending shrapnel off into the abyss. But it is entirely an intended thing, I assure you. I have been told by multiple dev engineers that that's just the the way it is. So uh, a little bit of weight shifting as we uh, start to finish our path uh, across the Pacific Ocean and on across the uh, Gulf of California and into Mexico with our current speed at about 6.4 kilometers per second and overheat warnings on the engines because my nose is too low. Uh, our speed is actually looking uh, pretty good. I think I'd like to see an extra five to 800 meters per second uh, at this particular juncture. Maybe just uh, another five kilometers altitude, 10-ish, uh, would be ideal for, I think, where we are currently. But uh, the decision is made to just go on ahead and shoot for at least Florida. Uh, yeah, once we start to really divert north, it starts to bleed off a lot of speed very, very quickly. So uh, we'll enter the Gulf of Mexico knowing that uh, if we have to divert north, it might be now or never. Yeah, the answer is never. We're just going to tip a little bit north to try to bring our uh, track over Cape Canaveral so that we can just end up going straight from here on in. Now that we're uh, sub three kilometers per second, we can actually exert some authority in our path uh, by just uh, drag alone uh, instead of actually having to use engines or RCS to correct. So uh, we do need to deflect by about two and a half to three degrees or so which really isn't a whole hell lot anyway uh i'm gonna turn you now over to old me all right so i yeah it's really hard to tell from that map view but i think we've deflected enough to uh take us over ksc provided we actually have the velocity to make it to ksc so uh, 1,300 meters per second. I don't think we're in any real danger of burning these engines off at this altitude. So we're going to bring this nose down and in. Uh, yeah, we need to shift some weight forward, I think. 
Um, yeah, looks like we're the pitch authority is slowly climbing back to neutral. That seems good enough. All right, I uh, maybe <laughs> maybe if I hold the H key, we'll we'll make it to Florida. I don't think we're making it to the runway, folks. I think um, I think land is our goal now. <laughs> Please, not a splash down. Uh, I, it is hard to see what our track is, but I don't think we can afford the the, uh, the velocity loss to adjust it any further. So we'll just uh, we'll hold the H key for a bit. Oh, hey, look, uh, an engine ulged in. Only one though. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well. We can give it a try, I suppose. Oh, hey, we got a good light on exactly one engine. Oh, another one went green. Um, I'm really worried that if I shut this one off, we might not get it back. But it also seems like one engine is not doing us a whole lot of good. Come on, KSV. All right, yes, two engines lit. Okay, um, still not doing this very good. Four engines lit. Now we should start to see, yeah, uh, a little bit of acceleration. We are still falling, but that's okay. Uh, we're accelerating, whereas at this angle before, we were decelerating while falling. So hopefully, uh, we're just gonna we're gonna let them bleed out. We're low enough now to where we should a have actual authority. I hope. Um, yeah, we're just gonna use up what we got. Looks like there is an imbalance in the fuel because overuse of RCS undoubtedly. Uh, way too much spent in docking maneuvers. Yeah, well that, that's where we'll put the blame. And we're starting to actually ease up our rate of descent. Uh, good news all around. Still, um, you know, faster than the speed of sound. Not quite twice, so. Alright, flame out. Let's go ahead and dump what we can. Make ourselves as light as possible. Come on, KSB. Dump the CO2 first. Such a fantastic noise. Alright. Waste. Quick and easy. Poops out the door. Alright, and where's our excess fuel? There we go. Go ahead and dump that too. Perfect. Alright, I think that's everything. Uh, we could dump the liquid hydrogen and the liquid oxygen for the fuel cells. There we go. Now we'll just... Yeah. Alright. That's probably an insignificant amount of mass to jettison, but... You know, here we are. Uh, almost to Florida. I think I can see it there, but... We need to uh, trade some of this altitude for speed and hope that we can actually get it there because we are not holding a very good glide slope. Uh, we might need more air around us if we have hope of generating enough lift to actually coast on in. So a little time warp, a few prayers, just anything but water. Uh, just a little bit of shimmy, but it does look like we have good authority. You know, atmospheric autopilot doing its thing, but um, it looks like our control inputs are pretty much staying put, so there's Florida. All right, whew. This altitude, 16 kilometers, uh, 250 meters per second, no doubt in my mind we'll make land. Uh, I certainly don't think we're going to cross the state and make it back to KSC, so yeah, that dream's out the door, but I uh, think we were better than last time. <laughs> by a very wide margin, so uh, improvement. We're improving. Eventually we'll get closer to that little concrete bullseye. You know, we can 
We can only hope. We'll just uh, slip back into some sped up footage. Uh, it actually looks uh, a lot like not sped up footage, but just a wee bit faster. Uh, as we make landfall here uh, off the coast of Florida, we are greeted with a uh, rising cloud front magically appearing out of absolutely nowhere that uh, completely obstructs our view of anything that might resemble uh, a place to land. Uh, my hopes that the clouds would clear by the time we got closer to the ground are swiftly dashed as we are slipping to around the two kilometer mark and uh, still we cannot see the ground. Oh man, clouds. I, it, I can see the ground through them kind of and it really looks like this cloud cover goes just all the way down. Um, I'd hope to find at least a uh, fake runway that we could put ourselves on, but uh, with visibility at near zero, I, I'm not sure that's going to be a thing. So uh, we're just going to land at whatever comes up to meet us, probably. Um, maybe we can actually go without tearing off the butt flap this time. Here's hoping. Uh, grass would be good. Alright, geared down. Locked. All right. Um, yeah, I'll take grass. Uh, is that? Yeah, it looks like some urban areas coming up to meet us. So let's uh, maybe we'll just get lucky, <laughs> and there'll be a runway right in front of us. <clears throat> 167 meters per second at uh, 350 meters altitude. Nope. I uh, was. I don't know. I don't think that's a runway. I don't think any of this is a runway. So, uh, looks like we're gonna have to land this on a street. Hopefully. Uh, I'm kinda terrified to bleed off more speed than I have, to be real honest with you. We're nearing our, what would be a safe approach speed. 140 some odd meters per second. As long as we can keep our vertical speed, our sink in check, we should be alright, but, um, all right, let's try to get over on this big road over here. This looks like uh, this might be wide enough for us. As long as all of these little gray squares are actually parking lots and not buildings, we should be fine. Oh yeah, definitely parking lot. Whoa. That's very interesting. If you get like a degree or two nose above horizon, this thing just climbs. Alright, let's just bring... Whoa, come on now. No, 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 no. I want to flare to put the rear gear down, but it keeps climbing. Look at this, climbing at 100 meters per second. This is supposed to be your stall speed, my dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Alright, let's just, just put it on the ground, Crash. Oh, a little rough, but 7 meters per second on touchdown. The landing gear will need to be rebuilt. Shoots are out, brakes are on, butt flap is intact. Brakes, 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 brakes. Auto cut. Stopped. Sweet. Alright, everybody's safe. The shuttle is intact. That's a happy mission. Let's recover this. Nicely done, everyone. And as we get that back to the VAB for our retrofit, that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. And I will see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.